So this is lid A. Remember, during my last demonstration, I went ahead and fused the, uh, the semicircle to the base of the lid. Now I'm going to go and put the cover, add the cover to the top. Okay, so what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to go and um, scoring the area that I'm going to attach it to. So I'm going to score over here. Remember, you can use any sharp edge. to score your um, clay. So I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna score it here. Okay, and I'm gonna score this here. Score this here. All right, so. <clears throat> Okay, so this piece is going to go directly onto the base over the semicircle and over to the other side. Okay, if it starts to crack on you, you're going to have to fuse it together later. But uh, I'm going to go and score this side. Okay, and I'm going to score this edge here. Score this edge. Right. Now, once it's scored, I'm going to go and slip, add slip to the edge of the base. Takes off some of this clay. I'm not going to do it here because I'm not going to score that area. I'm gonna... oh, a little bit too carried away there. Okay, so I'm going to add this on top. Oh, notice how it's starting to crack. Okay, uh, my clay got way too dry. So you're gonna to have to cover that up later. So um, you have to be very careful when you apply it to your base. Oh. 
it's too dry. Okay, I'm gonna go and add some water to it so it doesn't crack anymore. Okay. Okay, it's cracking because my clay got way too dry. So I'm gonna go and fuse this bottom bait part together. Let's fuse this together. Some of my clay. Okay, this is a little bit too hard. I might want to get softer clay. this together here. Okay, you want to try to be really gentle because if you press too hard, it's gonna cave in between the two semicircles. So you wanna hold at the, the base of your lid as you press down on the clay, okay? I'll take this. All right. Fill this in. Okay. So you're done, you don't want to go and smooth it out later. Um, All right, so <clears throat> once you're fused, done fusing that side, you can do the opposite side. Okay, if you have a gap, for whatever reason, because you cut your slab too short, okay, remember, you can always easily fill that in, okay? So what I would do is just take a piece of clay and uh, Oops, I got to score it first. All right, I'm going to fill this in. Okay, remember, you gotta be really careful so the side, the top doesn't cave in, okay? So just score this. Oh gosh, I got clay all over me. All right, I'm gonna score this.
Oh shoot, I made a hole on the other side. I'm gonna have to patch that up. Right. That down. That take off some of this clay. It's building up way too much. I can touch that up. Okay, once you're done with uh, the two long sides, you can start working your way to the the, the semicircles. Okay. Got to be really gentle so that you don't smash it in. I'm gonna fuse this. So this way cut this. Okay, so I'm gonna feel this side together. Smooth this out. Remember, just keep your cards nice and flat so you can pull off all the extra clay. And you want to make sure it's nice and level from one side to the other, okay? Take off any extra clay. If you have any holes on your um, lid, just take some clay and fill it in. So it's nice and level all the way across, okay? Um, Go ahead. 
Okay, now I'm going to go and fuse this side. So you guys get the idea, right? All right. Okay, now what I'm trying to do is I'm adding more clay so I can level it out.
Okay, once you finish fusing it all together, you can go ahead and start smoothing it out. Okay. I'm gonna get a special tool. This is what's called a serrated rim. So I'm gonna use my serrated rim to kind of even out all the sides. So I'm going to smooth that out. Now I'm ready to add my textures to um, the top of my box. Actually, I need to add the bottom. I'll, I'm going to do the bottom tomorrow. I'm going to wait for this to dry. All right, guys, there you go. That's how you fuse the lid to your base and your two semicircles. my lid. That in there. That in there. Pick this up. Pick this up. 